communicate communicate non verbally. The screws on the staff are annoying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So everyone's learning from everyone else, right? Vicariously, right? Because a lot of the issues are the same, actually. Okay, I think we're ready. Yep. The ensemble is slowly getting better. Navigational things that you well, pick a spot that you want to go back to. Um, because you ran into an issue there at the end. Let's uh, let's take it from the sequence. So, uh, pick up to 17. Okay, first. great. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, just a directional thing there. Yeah, also, Gabe, just keep your uh, just keep your the mouth slightly open. Okay, as you can it look, it looks sometimes like you're holding your breath. I know you're breathing, but yeah. like. Just keep it available. Here's upbeat to 17. Here we go. But they play better. Yeah. A lot of times you can gauge the quality of your conducting. Well, yeah, by the way they sound. Now, so what I would just do is when you do that release, like with Selena, you have to rebound from it. Rebound you can, back up. Yeah, just place yourself in a spot where okay. it's a little kind of dramatic feeling. It feels like you're being a little dramatic, but, but you're really just kind of showing resonance. Let's do the last two bars of that, 22 and 23. Yes, 22 and 23, for that reason. That was probably the best the ensemble has played the sequence. Here we go, 22, 23, just for Gabe to set up his uh, allegro here. And then I want to go back to the beginning. That was them. Yeah, that, no, you're, no, just start right on the downbeat. You were you're right. 22. 22. And keep breathing through your mouth. Through okay, your mouth. Yeah, I know. Not your nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Trumpet Player. <laughs> Okay, so you were just a little bit late to that. Was it? Yeah, just because they had already released when you went. 
So it looked a little awkward. One and two and three and four and... Just get to that release. Okay. Do your circle faster. Two, three, and four, and... Yeah, as you, when you do your last circle, just get move it faster. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. Same, same spot, guys. That's the idea. <clears throat> See how that works with you. Yeah. I like that ending. I like the allegro. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Yeah. You're first of all, Gabe. You're doing really well. I I want to get away from you from this idea of like we all want to do this. We all want to like feel these beats, but you don't need to do that. You in legato, remember you just you change what, change direction, or you create a bottoms of arc. So just just be careful that when you do that, you're not pulsing the beat. It's gonna feel a little funky, but and when you do it, especially as on one, you, you, you kind of go and you, and you dip down instead of just stopping, stop the baton at the bottom and yeah. Just do the beginning a little bit. Okay. Are you going to be a gift for your recital? Sure. Stamina wise? Okay. It's, uh, it's like or, pressure. Or they can, it's, or they, it gets yeah. better the more I play. Does it really? Yeah. Well, plan it. Yeah. That's not a good thing. Or, yeah, that's <laughs> what I was going to say. Or you're going to have an IV behind you. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Here we go. Beginning. And um, if I can have uh, everybody uh, watch me for the first two measures, because I didn't do a good job of uh, picking it up at first. Okay. I mean, I, it was, I had an idea of where I wanted to be, and it was, uh, I started way too slow. So okay. that was my fault. <clears throat> Measure one for Measure me. Measure one. For me. For me. For me. Yeah, yeah yes. there you go. Uh-huh, that's pretty good. Good. That's, better. That's, that's better. So the tempo is better, but now I, I want you to do it without going. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> but I, I get it. Like I understand that. I, I just it just it, it it's just not it just does not feel good. Okay. It does not feel good to not touch the beat. So move just move th as I say move through them, but don't touch them. Here we go. Before the fortissimo, everyone kind of stops. It's like you—it's almost like a rubber band. They anticipate it. You got to yeah. take the whole beat and then yeah, it's like uh, you have to really and then release it. But what everyone is doing, and this again, this is real natural, is just kind of go. You don't go all the way. I mean, you need to wind up all the way for that. Um, now, the way you did the beginning was much better. Yeah. And do you feel how you're like that much ahead of the sound? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it you felt, have to it do. Felt, it felt smoother. Yeah, and you just have More to be connected. that. Yeah, and you just have to be that ahead of the sound to be able to lead it at the tempo that you want. That happened to me just I mean earlier this week. It's just it's, it's I, I'm still getting used to that sensation. It's so awkward. It's so weird to be like not with the sound and to be that far ahead. So I think you're doing good work on this. Keep going. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Who's next? Who's fourth? Dylan? <clears throat> yeah, okay, four, five, six, got it. Okay. 